Okay, so this is where I've got to with the dual wire gantry um, reuse of two up parts. Uh, well, that's the intention. This is just the linear motion on a test rig uh, with a smaller um, motion area just to see whether the dual wire gantry stuff works with the idea to use it with V slot profile and open builds uh, V wheels. So what we've got is the two bars are uh, the y-axis sliders, uh, the single bar across the middle is the x-axis um, and the x-carriage is here with an E3D uh, Volcano hot end on it at the moment. It's got uh, two uh, V mini wheels on top, uh, one on the bottom in the middle and it's got a little V-groove um, 624 bearing there and the same on that side and that's taking um, the X uh, motion uh, wire that then feeds um, either side into the Y carriage uh, one that side and one that side um, they've got the larger um, V wheels on top uh, no particular reason I think it's going to end up in a smoother ride other than the fact that um, the stockist I used didn't have loads of mini wheels in stock but to be honest I think I'm going to be happier with the big ones on top here um, and you can see a small v-wheel underneath there um, to try and deal with any moments uh, that are generated and the X slider uh, or X um, axis profile just sits in the top there um, and then there's a little bar bolt, bolt that comes out the bottom to attach the Y uh, wire to on the top uh, one that side and the bottom one that side. Um, so the root of the wire is uh, for the X axis. It's fixed on there and ignore that, um, the fact that that's a bearing. comes into the, uh, the V groove bearing there. And then that goes around that V groove bearing and back towards the same Y carriage. Uh, on the other side, then that comes out and it goes around a bearing, along to the other side, around another bearing, into that Y carriage, around the V groove bearing, into the X carriage and around, back out same direction or back to the same side uh, around the other V bearing in that Y carriage all the way to the end and again that's a fixed tied on point there so how does the x-axis motion look well if you grab this wire for the every unit distance you pull the wire you get half a unit distance moved along the X carriage. Okay. Then for the Y, I've already shown you uh, where it joins on to the Y carriage, but this goes round the V groove bearing at one end and in parallel those lines come up to the corner around two bearings with the vertical rotation axis on there, same on there, and down to that end. So that's a continuous loop for the Y motion. And how does the Y motion go? Um, well, for every unit length moved there, you get one unit length moved in the Y axis. So at the far Y range, we've got full motion. And at the near range, we've got full X axis motion there. So, um, Next job is to uh, try and get some get some um, drive pulleys mounted on this. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do the Y one at the moment. The X one's probably going to be vertical uh, axis of rotation here, going up through there and the wheel. And that way you can bolt the stepper motor to that face plate, um, and then. I might have to do something with the y-axis fairly low down um, here or here. And this 
is aramid thread on the outside, so there's a tensioner there, pretty low stretch. On the inside there, that's a dental floss. Um, I will replace it with the aramid um, and check that it still works as easily. Um, the y-axis is much harder um, to move, partly because that's a one-for-one -one, um, motion as opposed to a two-to-one ratio that you get here. Um, but also um, you've got more um, bearings moving um, every time and these little things um, aren't friction free uh, and neither are um, are these wheels although actually the um, the V wheels are pretty pretty free and easy so I think it's these V slot ones on the corners the size doesn't matter too much so um, what I'm looking at doing is just getting some normal um, 624 bearings and I'm going to print a slightly larger diameter um, V um, shroud to go over the outside of those um, and increase their diameter so that um, their rotational um, velocity and acceleration is reduced. Uh, we'll see if that makes any difference potentially. Um, I think uh, that's it for now.